Good morning world. Uh just woke up and I guess I'm filming a full day of eating on a cut per the per the Instagram boat. I'm about to weigh myself. Yesterday I weighed in at 198. Uh, I'm feeling relatively lean, so let's see. And then hold on, this is with the camera. With the camera, 197. Reset it. Put the camera down. Step on. Let it scale out, and I can grab the camera. One ninety five boys. Whoa, I mean you can see the You can see the leanness starting to come in. The abs. So I'm not gonna lie, that actually feels really good to know that I'm leaning out that much and that I got down to 195 even though that's a three pound difference from yesterday, which I'm like, which I guess I could say what I'm going for is too much at the moment. I'm aiming for like one to two pounds a week to safely drop that fat off with preserving as much muscle as I can. But you know, fluctuation shit happens. I go up, I go down. I mean, that felt good. I got like some fucking shit on my head, bro. All right, there we go. I had to splash a little water on my face, wake my shit up, fix my hair. But yeah, feels good to be down weight like that because I've been up for a while. Like it's been hard to cut down. Like I said in my last video, it's been getting like to that struggle where I binge and shit. But I got back to the grind. I stepped it up. Got remotivated. So, I mean, besides this beard making me look like a fat chungus bitch with three chins, uh. Feeling relatively leaner, but yeah, the fluctuation shit. I mean, I mean, it happens. I if I drop a couple of pounds of muscle, not muscle, but like if I drop a couple of pounds and I lose a little bit more muscle, fuck it. I mean, I just want to see them abs, baby. We just want those abs, but yeah, I um, I did an Instagram poll yesterday, uh, to spice things up and maybe film like a little bit different of a video. I, uh, this is what I put on my story. So, I put, I put film a video for what I eat in full day to lose fat tomorrow. I said, fuck yeah, 84%. And then we had some trolls who said, no, you're fat forever, 16%. So, I mean, now I'm not filming it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, shit. Right here, if you're not following my Instagram, this is what you need to be doing. Uh, links in the description every time, but right there, just my name. Oh, I try to post like every other day, so yeah, get on it. But anyways, uh, I'm about to film a little bit of uh, a day, not a day in the life, not, a, not mainly a workout video, just kind of what I eat in general on a daily basis to lose my fat. What I eat in a day on a cut. I'll show you guys my calories and everything. So yeah, let's uh, let's start meal number one, shall we? Have it. 
Can I have it? Hey! Can I have it? Thank you. Sit. Ready? Good boy. Hey. Okay, so basically every single day I have about the same breakfast roughly and that's just because like when I wake up like I it just sounds so good to me like it's healthy but like it's kind of healthy it's like, kind of not like whatever but like it just sounds good to me when I wake up every single time. So I like to eat that to start my day out right so I know the vibe's good so when I get to the gym I'm carved up I got my proteins in. First thing I grab in the morning egg whites. People don't understand the difference between why egg whites, why egg whites, they're nasty, they're gross, okay? First of all, when you're trying to lose weight, there's no, by no means is this an easy route, is this an easy decision to make. Like, the process is not easy for losing weight, losing fat too, that's even harder than just losing weight in general, targeting fat. A regular egg, if you were just to crack an egg, a regular old egg, it has like 7 grams of protein in it for one egg, which is like 70 calories because there's fat in there too. If you go for the all liquid egg whites, whatever the brand is, it's strictly protein. This is literally like drinking straight protein. Like if protein juice was a thing, this is it. If you can see the calories on here, 25 calories, serving size is 3 tablespoons, within that you have five grams of protein, okay? Protein in there. No carbs, no fats. So if you need to get more of your protein your macros in, I suggest egg whites, especially to start my day just to make sure I'm getting a lot of protein. A cup to the brim. See them in there? They're like really weird colored. They're like weird. I let that sit in there and cook. All right, so I don't know if I want to make a whole other video for this, maybe in the future, more than the depth. But basically, to lose weight, it's not even about eating healthy. Like, I'm going to show you guys a little hack here. You can eat whatever you want in the world in a day and still lose weight. I just showed you guys I'm 195. I started my cut at 215. I'm down 20 pounds. I eat this every single day. I'm about to throw these. Kroger or whatever brand you want to get, Eggo, whatever, it doesn't even matter, bro. I'm about to throw these chocolate chip waffles, fire, fire, in the fucking, I'm about to throw these in the toaster, cook two of these up, and bro, like, this isn't terrible for you, it's not healthy for you, it's whatever, like, it's just a food, fuck it. You can eat whatever you want in a day, as long as it's fitting your calories. So go to, a, go to a website, find a website where you find your total daily energy expenditure calories, which is like your maintenance calories. You find your maintenance calories. Everyone's is different. So mine's right now, I have mine set at 2,200, starting at 204 pounds. I did that 204 pounds. So you put in on the website, like, you put in how much cardio you do, how many weight training days you do a week, um, what you do on a daily basis, like your daily activities, like you just sit around, if you go to an office job, like whatever. You find how many calories you burn in a day, and you need to be eating 500 under that, 500 a day under that. So over a week, it adds up to 3,500, which is 500 times seven, which in the end equals one pound of fat a week. That's what it's targeted to. You can even go higher than 500 calories under, blah, blah, blah. But when you find that, you just put it in MyFitnessPal, track your macros, track everything you eat, scan the barcode, it's easy as fuck. It's hard to get used to, it's really tedious, but you know, you get used to it. And it, it, your body works as a science, as a chemical science. So when it breaks down to it, you need to be eating that many calories or you're not going to lose weight. That's why people get pissed off and like, I'm eating healthy, but I'm not losing weight. It's because it doesn't matter. You could eat fucking, you could eat every, you could eat fucking 500 apples in a day. Well, that's a little extreme. It's like hundred and whatever calories. You could eat apples fucking, you could just eat keeping apples all day. Anything healthy. You could eat fucking eggs all day. If you eat enough to still go over your calories, you're still going to gain weight. That's how it works. That's how you bulk up. You can eat clean foods, more of it to get bulked up muscle on. But when you're cutting, you need to be in a deficit under your maintenance calories. So literally, you can eat whatever you want. Just make sure it fits your calories. So, like, if I'm feeling a cookie or whatever, like, a, whatever I have for dessert, like, if I feel like a, like a bite of ice cream, 
I can literally do that. Like I try to eat clean because I feel better when I eat clean. Like my face is clear, my acne is cleaner. Like everything just feels better when you eat clean. But if like a cheat snack or whatever comes across my face, like it's not gonna hurt me to fucking eat it. Like as long as it fits my macros, I'm not going over my calories for that day, then it's gonna work. So I'm gonna show you what I eat today on a daily basis. Like it's genuinely typically healthy, but you're gonna see that some little cheaty type items do fit in there. Waffles, I feel bad for you. We're just gonna call that a tablespoon. Serving size is two tablespoons, so it's perfect for our two waffles. Oh, no almond butter over here, boy. Just that regular Jif shit. Like, but usually I'd go with like the low fat, sugar free like syrup. It has like 10 calories, so I don't even track it. Like at that point, it's like a cheat. Like it's like a hat kind of. But I mean, I have to track this now that it's 100 or whatever. But all right, so this is gonna be my breakfast. Um, like my well, not my breakfast, but like my pre workout meal number one do i have like three or four meals this size in the day maybe a little bit bigger uh, i'd recommend smaller more spread out meals if you're trying to lose weight that way you're just not bloated and expanded all the time i recommend my fitness pal to track calories Leave me out of the dark I don't know how far I can go
I just got back from my workout, which was overall decent. The vibe was, eh. The, vibe, the vibe's off. The training's not off, but it's not the best. I mean, I can still get a good workout, but... Post-workout meal I'm about to get down here is... It's this little quick Philly cheese steak calzone. It's from Walmart, and it's literally... It's 590 calories for this with 31 grams of protein in this. I mean, they have pizza ones, too, like 34 grams of protein, which is surprising, but... Yeah, I'm about to get this down. Quick 30 grams out of this with a lot of carbs to replenish my glycogen levels after I get done with the workout, which are naturally really low if you work out and burn them down. But it's like stuff with steak, bell peppers, onions, mozzarella, and provolone cheese. And then I'm about to show you guys a life hack right here. So usually you guys probably drink either plain vanilla protein powder with water and milk or plain with chocolate, whatever, or a little flavor, whatever. I'm about to put you guys on, okay? I don't know if they have creamsicle flavor out there, but I'm telling you right now, just get any, any vanilla protein powder. I got this from Nick Merckx, by the way, Twitch streamer, but orange Gatorade. I'm going to pour 12 ounces in my shaker cup. Now listen, what you're thinking is, what the fuck is that? Like, eight extra calories, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, it's going to fit my macros. Uh, it's going to be, this is going to be, this is 180 calorie, 30 grams of protein Premier shake. So, I mean, this is going to be a 260 calorie shake on top of this. So it's going to be like an eight, 900 meal, but... Orange cream sickle. It's gonna be tasting like orange cream sickle, like a sugar ice cream or like an orange cream sickle, like ice cream pop. Like it is fire. Boom. Calzone. Orange cream shake. I'm about to go up down, and I'm about to watch my Mark Lobline or Tiger Fitness. about a couple hours later I just made my small meal number three um, right here we have an Okos um, Greek yogurt but it's like a flavored uh, it's like a flavored coconut one with like nuts in it mix um, that's like 17 grams of protein I have five grams of ham right there and I'm telling you ham is a hack bro ham is a hack people sleep on ham it's like really high in sodium which is really good for pumps um, that's like five ounces right there, so that's gonna be like 20 some 22 grams of protein. It's like for two slices, it's like two ounces, and it's like uh, it's like 10, 10 grams of protein for two ounces. So, and then I just made myself another orange cream shake. So, yeah, I'm about to get this down. This is like I don't know, like four or five hundred calories. No, I'm gonna watch some some YouTube, some fitness YouTube over there, and try this down, chill for a little bit. Then I'll probably pick up the camera again in a little bit to finish off my rest of my calories for the night, something small. I have all my carbs in for today already, so I'll probably just get a little bit more protein in, so yeah. Three hours later. All right guys, so it's relatively late right now. It's one o'clock in the morning. I don't like to eat this late usually. But I was binge watching some Zach Zyler videos and just trying to get some extra motivation. But uh, I'm still gonna get my calories in before I go to bed because I'm still gonna wake up eight hours from now. So, um, yeah, so for my last item of the night, I'm literally just gonna a little bit more ham because it's strictly protein and it's I'm gonna eat another five ounces, which is gonna be like a hundred. 50 calories, I have like 160 left. So, I'm just gonna get my protein in to hit my mouth in for a bit. And, yeah. Literally three ounces, four ounces, seven ounces slice bro. So, this will be really close to my calories for the day. So, that's five ounces on the dot. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. I know there wasn't a lot of training. Uh, it was mostly just showing you guys what I eat in a day. 
pretty much it's not the same every single day it changes every single day literally it just depends what i have here but we have cooked like usually we can have something cooked like steak or chicken but that was it wasn't on the menu today so uh i still get it in i got close to 200 grams of protein i'm gonna put the uh i'm gonna put all my calories from today my whole intake up on the screen right here uh hope you guys enjoyed uh subscribe for uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. I'm going to try to upload as much as I can. And yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your evening, day, morning, whatever it is when this gets uploaded. But yeah, peace.